Hi, I'm Laurie Layden, and I'm deeply honored to be a contributor to the Evolutionary Leaders Circle book, our moment of choice, evolutionary visions and hope for the future. This book and my vision for the future are needed now more than ever. As a trauma healing expert and spiritual mentor, I've worked in some of the most traumatized communities in our world, including Rwanda with genocide survivors, Australia with Aboriginal and refugee communities, and right here in the United States in post-school shooting cities. From this work, I believe that healing unresolved trauma and regaining our resiliency is one of the greatest challenges and opportunities of our time. Focusing on healing trauma hardly needs any justification when the world is experiencing so much unimaginable individual and collective trauma. Even now, as I record this, I'm learning of the Robb Elementary School shooting, which took the lives of 14 children, a teacher and the shooter. We are way overdue. If we don't commit to healing trauma now, then when? The good news is we have the technology and innovative therapies like the GRACE process, EFT tapping, heart coherence, and Project Light to create healed and heart-centered peace builders worldwide. Based on my passion for healing my own childhood traumas, I've dedicated my life to supporting our next generation of young people to heal, work, and lead us into a peaceful future. That includes supporting parents, educators, and mental health professionals who nurture young people, for them to commit to their own healing as well. I deeply mourn for all of those who are impacted by violence and disasters that plague our world. But because of my work, I'm blessed to see the miracles that can come from tragedy when people heal their traumas and open to peace in their hearts and peace in our world. My work focuses on healing hearts into coherence, a state where the heart, brain, body are in physiological alignment. From this place, we have access to our highest divine peace building gifts, forgiveness, inner wisdom, creative problem solving, spiritual connectedness, and transcendence. I hope you'll read my chapter and our book to learn more details about how important your contribution is to healing trauma and evolving peace in our world. But before I close, I'd like to offer this very, very brief heart coherence meditation that I hope you will return to as often as you feel the need to. And so I invite you now to simply get into a comfortable position, closing your eyes, and if it feels comfortable, to place your hands on your heart and simply begin by focusing on your breath bringing your breath all the way to the belly, exhaling any tension you may be holding, taking in a soothing breath, feeling how good it feels to simply take a moment to be, erasing the blackboard of your mind, and placing your consciousness in your heart, knowing that your heart will know just what to do. And with your consciousness in your heart, I invite you to imagine an infinity circuit that connects your heart with the divine one heart or whatever you refer to as source. from this place to know that whatever you choose to heal in yourself sets up a resonance field for that healing to unfold in our world so that truly your greatest service work in the world is in being in service to your own healing. From this place, Imagine a world full of people who have the healing that you're seeking. A 
what might be possible for your healing, for our children's healing, for our world healing. Imagine hearts around the world lighting up with the healing that you're seeking. Sending that healing to whoever and wherever you feel called in the world. And breathing that into every cell in your body. Becoming aware of your heart once again. And simply breathing into this dream. Breathing into what's possible. When enough of us choose to find peace in our hearts and peace in our world. And with a few healing breaths now, just gently, when you feel ready, opening your eyes. I thank you for taking this time with me to dream a dream for yourself, our children, and our world. Thank you. <laughs>